What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Monday, and I hope you had a great weekend. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin and Litecoin and look at this drop we had. And will it continue, or are we going to get a nice bounce up from here? We're going to take a look at it, take a look at our support and resistance. We're also going to take a look at Litecoin and Ethereum, so definitely stick around to the end. Also, don't forget, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Totally free. Check it out. Awesome community, guys. Let's get into the video. What's up, guys? As always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research. As this market is extremely volatile and risky, also keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Do not put in more than you're willing to lose. And with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen tick the notification bell to get you notified when i post new videos i do daily updates every single day to keep everybody updated on the market and don't forget to smash the likes guys leave your comments let me know what you think and this is going to be kind of a short video today i'm having problems with my trend lines in the rsi as you can see my price action moves but my trend lines are all goofed up and that's what took me so long to get a video this morning so i'm gonna have to make this short but we will take a look at what i'm looking at all right so looking at the daily we're gonna start out on the daily today i'm still looking at this as a giant bull flag we are getting support on the top of it here um now looking at this falling wedge we've been watching yesterday i thought we were gonna break through the top we had the top line of this about right there and it looked like we were peeking through I'm gonna move that up here now. I still believe this is a bullish formation, guys. And as you can see, in my RSI, I still have that as a falling broadening wedge and we are staying within it. Um, although we talked about it, we could come back down to retest down here. Now that would be most likely below the 85, but the 85 is still what I'm looking for first. If we go below that, I don't think it's going to be much. And I think we'll be getting a bounce off of the top of this falling channel. And remember, this is the daily, so this can take some time. But as of now, um, I don't believe we're going to go past the 8,500. I could be wrong. Obviously, nobody knows for sure. But um, that is our... 0.618 Fibonacci and I will show you that real quick on the chart if we go from the swing low down here up to the swing high our 0.618 is right there at the 8500 range I have it at 85.32 but it's right in that range uh, give or take 50 bucks let's look at what I'm looking at here if this bottom blue trend line breaks we could be headed down towards the 8000 so I I believe that if we break the 8,500, we're most likely headed down to the $8,000 range, which is our 0.786 Fibonacci. Um, but let's see what happens here today. Um, like I said, we, we probably are going to come down within sometime today, probably tag this 8,500 range. And if we drop below that, guys, then I'd be looking for the 8,000. But I do expect a bounce here. And if we can get back above this, I'm going to take this triangle out of here now. We got a fake out there. Went up, came back down, back through the triangle. So, and that happens. We've talked about it. Now let's look at our target still on the bullish side if this 85 holds. First target would be measuring the wedge. If we take a measured move of the wedge there, that gets us up to... If we break out, and I'm guessing we're gonna, if we do come back up, we're gonna hit this probably late tonight or sometime tomorrow at that 8,900 again, where it's gonna be resistance. And if we break through, our next point of resistance is gonna be that 9,300 zone, which was our old support back here. If we break through that, get support, then I'm looking for a target of 10.5 to begin with. And then if we measure this whole thing here as a measured move, I am looking for around the $11,900, $12,000 range. I'm also, if you guys can see this, I also have this trend line in here. And I'm not 
I don't really like it because it doesn't match up real well, but we could look at that as a bull flag too. Using the bottom blue line as the bottom of it, this one as the top. And the breakout would line up somewhere tomorrow if we hit this 9300 and break through it um, and get support, then we'd be looking at our higher targets. I still believe, guys, um, as long as by the middle of this month we get it, we start pushing up, we could still see new all time highs this year. Um, I know a lot of people say it's not possible, but it is possible in Bitcoin. Anything's possible. But, anyways, looking at that as a bull flag, that falling channel gets us up to about the $12,300 range. Now, let's do another measured move. I don't have this one on here just while you guys are watching, so I can check this real quick. We did a measured move just of that. That would get us up to the $10,100 range, which we're, there's all kinds of confluence over here. But anyways, like I said, we got to watch and see what happens here. Um, I will be trading this. I have been putting what my trade entrance and exits on here. So um, if we break this 8,500, I'll probably put a short just below the break or yeah just below the break and then i'll probably put a stop loss just above it and if you guys want to learn how to do leverage trading and trade i will leave a tutorial up here for bybit exchange and if you sign up make a deposit with my link you get a 60 dollars bonus i also have a prime xbt link down there that you can get a 35 percent bonus if you sign up and make a deposit so if you guys want to dabble in leverage trading Bybit and Primex are the two I use, and I do have links below. Um, you guys can check them out. And just don't do high leverage and be all crazy. But anyways, yes, it looks like we're headed down to that 8,500 here. Um, if we do go below that, like I said, I would be looking for the 7,000, well, actually the $8,000 range is what I'd be looking for. I know people are calling for the 82, 83, which I guess is possible to get support off of this support line over here. But I do believe if we go through the 85, we're most likely, um, unless we just do a quick wick and jump right back in, but I think we're most likely going to head to around the $8,000 range if we break this 8,500. So that's what I'm looking at. Like I said, I'd look for, if we get back over the 8,900, we're, we're looking pretty good. We'll probably head up towards the 93, and if we can break that, then we'll be headed up to these higher highs. So keep an eye on that, guys. Let's go into Litecoin, then we'll take a look at Ethereum. This was the ascending triangle I was looking at, and we did get kind of a bull trap coming out of this yesterday. Let me move this over. We did get kind of a bull trap popping out of this yesterday. I still have these measured moves up here, which unless we break through the bottom of this trend line right here, I still believe we could be headed up to these. And the first one... Somehow I lost my, let me, oh, actually it's in the four hour. But yeah, we'll take some measured moves, but first I'll measure this one. If we're break up, gets us around the 7860 range. That would be getting us through this 200 EMA, but I see, I see us having issues with the 200 EMA first. But if you look right here where we're at, we are getting support on our EMAs right here. If we do break through, like I said, Last point of support here I'm looking at is the 21 EMA. That's around the 59.81. So if we do drop below that, guys, then we're going to be headed to our lower targets. Um, I do want to take a look at the RSI. You can see I had this falling channel. We we're coming out of it in a wedge. We are peeking through it now. Um, but keep in mind, this is the daily. And if we can come back up inside it in the daily, so keep an eye on that. I don't think we looked at the RSI in Bitcoin, did we? Um, that's why, because it keeps moving and crap and it's stressing me out. But anyway, rising broadening wedge does look like we could come back down, test the bottom of this one more time. But I do want to point out in the four hour here, we do look like we are getting bullish divergence. Um, we're getting lower lows in the price action and higher lows in the RSI. That's bullish divergence, guys. 
Um, even if this does come down a little bit more, as long as we do not go below this point in the RSI, that's still bullish divergence. And I believe that's what will give us our next boost up. And like I said, I'd be looking at the 8,900 area. If we can break that, then I'm looking for the 9,300 area. And again, if we break below the 85, which I don't think we're going to do, but we could. If we do, then I'd be looking for the 8,000. But I'd be looking for a bounce here at the 85, guys. Um, back over to Litecoin. All right, so we just took a look at this. Like I said, we're, it's in the daily, so we could pop back in there. Did we look at the daily RSI on Bitcoin? Yeah, we did. All right, back over to Litecoin. Sorry, guys. That See, the RSI works fine in the Litecoin, just not in Bitcoin. All right, let's go into the four-hour RSI. Looking at this as a falling channel, we've had two touches of resistance on the top, two touches of support on the bottom. Question is, do we come back down for one more test and come up, or do we come back down and break through? Um, let's look at the price action. So one more test of the top would most likely get us to test these this resistance right here we have hit this quite a few times guys if we keep hitting it i believe we could weaken it like i said i would be as long as we don't go below the 5920 range which is the 200 ema here on the four hour we'll probably most likely get another bounce up and test the top of this if it breaks then we look at our higher targets which the first one being Well, that 72 was from the daily, but the first one, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. The first one being around the 72 to $73 range. And then our next one here is that 78.60. That would be the measured move of the break at the top of this. Um, again, if we break below, keep an eye on it, guys. If we break below the 59.30, um, I would be looking for these next targets. This one here, which is the 0.5 EMA. This is the 0.618, and this is the 0.786 down here. Well, that's what I'd be watching out for. Take a look at the one hour real quick, just to see what it's looking like. One hour looks like we're getting a nice V bottom here, but our RSIs, our 21 is getting ready to cross the 51 to the downside. So that may bring us down to at 59.79 range for one more touch and we'll see if that holds um, when it gets back down here if that doesn't hold guys then like i said we'll be looking for first target after that would be the 55.78 then the 53.84 if each one of these don't hold but like i said i'm looking for a bounce here come back up at least test this again and if we can break through great then we're looking at our newer higher highs up here so let's go to ethereum nothing has changed here at all ethereum is still within this um symmetrical triangle or bull flag if you want to call it that the measured moves first one if we were to break out up in this area and break up and like i said to to trade this i would put along just above the trend line and if we break up and then a short a st well, uh, excuse me a stop loss just below it same thing on the bottom if it broke down i would put a short down here with a stop loss just above the trend line and then once that gets into profit i would move my stop loss into profit that way you're safe in the trade um but yeah if it breaks up 217 measuring it as a symmetrical triangle breaks down round actually it'd be up more around the 156 and if we measure this whole thing as a bull flag over here, as a flagpole, looking at this as a bull flag, then we get a little bit higher targets. 227 if we break up. And looking at 148-ish if we break down. So that's where I'm at with that, guys. Don't forget to check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. Crypto, t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, koozies. It's a way to help support the channel. Don't forget to smash the likes. Leave your comments. And uh, all the links for my affiliate links are down below. Definitely check it out. Get your crypto safe. Get them off the exchanges. I have some hard wallet links down there and some other stuff. Um, also, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes. Leave your comments. 
and I will see you guys later. Have a great day.